now we are going to start the first topic in the unit 3 that is current and current density current and current density current and current density let us see current what is a current current is defined as current is defined as current is defined as rate of change of charge rate of change of charge with respect to with respect to time rate of change of charge with respect to time so current is indicated with capital that is i i is equal to dq by dt the units are amperes current is a scalar or vector current is a scalar next let us define current density current density current density is indicated with j current density is indicated with j current density is defined as current crossing some area perpendicularly current crossing some area perpendicularly so current density is equal to current per unit area that is i by a r i by s generally we consider here surface area that is s so j is equal to i by s and this is your unit vector current density is a vector and its units are ampere per meter square it units are current density units are ampere per meter square let us consider a conductor let us consider this is one conductor let us consider some surface area so this is a current which is passing or which is crossing this area this is your surface area yes this current crossing this area normal to this surface the direction of the momentum of electrons or charge is indicated with unit vector that is a which is normal to the, this a is normal to this surface this a indicates the direction of momentum so here a is a here a is a unit vector a is a unit vector a is a unit vector which is perpendicular to the area which is perpendicular to the area so depending upon how current is passing here we have three types of currents and related to and it's related current densities the first one is conduction current conduction current the second one is convection current the third one is displacement current displacement current so depending upon how the current is moving 
here we have a three types of current conduction current convection current and displacement current the conduction current is nothing but which is when the current is propagated through conductors then it is called as conduction current and here ohm's law is obeyed for conduction current ohm's law is obeyed while coming to the convection current does not involve the conductor in the convection current there is no any involvement of conductors and no involvement of conductors and it does not obeys obeys ohms law not obeys ohms law the convection current is nothing but the current which passes through the insulator the example for this convection current is the beam of electrons which are passing in vacuum tube so for convection current the example is the beam of electrons which are passing in vacuum tube displacement current this displacement current occurs in dielectric materials this displacement current occurs in dielectric materials so conduction current is nothing but which occurs in conductors convection current which occurs in insulators and displacement current which occurs in dielectric material this dielectric material this principle this displacement current principle is used in formation of capacitors now we are going to see the relation between convection current density that is j and volume charge density rho and its velocity relation between relation between convection current density current density j comma volume charge density volume charge density rho v and its velocities and its velocities u dash let us consider a box let us consider rho v is a charge density inside the volume rho v is nothing but it is a charge density inside the volume rho v is nothing but your dq by dv we have consider the cha volume charge density surface charge density and line charge density that is rho s rho l rho v rho v is nothing but your volume charge density which is present in inside this box the length of the box is let us consider this is your length is l let us assume that the charge is moved in the direction of x let us consider this is at x and this is y 
the charge is moved in the direction of x in a time dt for example let us consider this is a momentum of charge in a time dt So this is the momentum of charge in the direction of x that is dx. This dx is occurred in a time dt. Inside the box rho v is present moving in x direction and this is the surface area. This is the surface. So inside the box rho v is present moving in x direction in a small time dt in a small time dt the current has moved the distance delta x that is in delta t time the current has moved in the direction of x with a value of delta x. So from this delta q is equal to from this equation we can write delta q is equal to the change in charge delta q is equal to rho v that is volume charge density multiplied with volume multiplied with volume this can be written as rho v into volume is equal to area into distance we can write the surface area is s and the distance moved is delta x if I multiply, if I divide both LHS and RHS with delta T, that is delta Q by delta T is equal to rho V S into delta X by delta T. X is a distance and T is a time. Distance by time is equal to velocity. So delta Q by delta T, which can be written as rho V s into something velocity indicated with in the direction of x so ux q by t is nothing but we can write i delta q by delta t is nothing but your we can write it as a i i is equal to rho v s into ux i by s is nothing but your what is i by s that is current density i by s is equal to rho v into ux so here we can replace i by s with your j j is a vector rho v into u dash so this is the relation between your current density charge density and velocity where j is equal to current density current density and rho v is charge density and u is your velocity. In the next class we are going to see the continuity equation.